what's up, y'all? I am your girl Candy, and I am here with Tamar, and we are about to speak on it. How about that? I had already heard. I can turn a shade tree into a money tree. <laughs> so, Tamar, yes, I finally got you on speak on it. I know. You know, so many people been like wanting me to get you on my speak on they it. They have. We, yes, since we did, Big Brother. They was like, you gotta get Tamar on speak on it. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, here you are finally. So. Um, you know, obviously this has been a life changing year for the two of us. I know. <laughs> obviously, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> we have come a mighty long way. Yes, when we do it. Yes, yeah, starting out um, when we first got out of the Big Brother house or whatever, everybody didn't necessarily know that we've had ups and downs or whatever. Y'all had like come before we got here? Yes, and that's what I'm trying to say. She just sat up here and tried to make me look shady in front of her goddamn friends, and I'm sick of doing that. That was kind of, I guess it was weird when we first got in the house together. So tell me, what did you think when you first was, saw me walk up in the house? Linda, I was just gonna ask you that, but okay. <clears throat> uh, when, I, when I first saw you, I was like, oh, hell. <laughs> Get me off this damn show. You thought I was gonna do Absolutely, I thought that. Really? Really? Oh my God. What you mean, why would I think that? I didn't, I didn't think that, I, well, I definitely wasn't trying to get you off no show. I was sitting there, when I saw you, I was like, oh shit, how's this gonna go? <laughs> In my mind, I didn't know, like, if you was gonna be trying to get me off the no. show. Like, for me, like, okay, as far as, you know, I know, you know, we had our issues with pet. I didn't know they was as deep as they were. Where you been, Candy? Well, I mean, because you know how you get, you know, have little problems with somebody and then you talk. So you think, oh, okay, well, we cool, you know, like, because I think mean, we had talked a couple times since after the previous tour or whatever. So I was thinking, oh, okay, well. Well, because we here's did. the thing. I wanted to be cool. You mm. know what I'm saying? But I knew that there were, and I ain't trying to bring up nothing. I know, nor, nor am I trying to be yeah, messy. Let's not go back. No, but there's a lot of. <laughs> people in between okay that you know what i'm saying okay we have a lot that, of mutual right that did yeah. that that it was a lot of things right that, that for me it, it looked impossible do you okay. know what i'm saying uh, okay. does that make sense okay okay all right i could take that and i can accept, you know and i accept what you're saying um honestly you know i think at certain points um when you have a long term relationship with people because honestly I forgot how long we knew each other too until we start really talking things through but I mean just to take y'all back if you didn't see um, we've been knowing each other since uh damn since we were teenagers yeah I was about 18 yeah yeah so I'm a year older than you right am I I just turned 43 yeah I'm a year older than you so yes, we've been knowing each other since we were 18 and 19 years old. So we've been in this industry for a very long time, work with a lot of the same people, have a lot of the same friends. We've actually even written a song or two together in the past. Yeah. You know, and so it's like, it's been like this relationship, but it was never close for whatever reason. It was always one thing or the other that made things, I mean, I guess, where we just wasn't as close as Which you think we should be. Yeah, yeah, right. So anyway, <laughs> going into the Big Brother house, for me, I mean, because it's not like we ever publicly had any issues that I felt like, um, well, I mean, I guess some things were like, out of the but it wasn't like to me, <laughs> to me, I mean, I guess, you know, you kind of like- has arrived. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I thought about it, I thought about it when right. I said it. But at the same time, I just kind of felt like, okay, well, you know how you, just if you have a long-term relationship with somebody, some things you just be like, okay, well, whatever, let's move right along. We've right. been knowing each other forever, like, you know, and for me, going into that house, I just looked at it like, I didn't know what I was getting myself into because I didn't really watch the show like that prior to. Yeah. So, you know, when I saw you, I was like, oh, sh are we going to be able to be you know, with each other and support each other through this, or are we not gonna be with each other? So. No, to be honest about it, I didn't expect this result. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. I thought that one of us would get the other off. Really? Yes, to help further our game. 
Yeah, nah, that's not. I mean, because you gotta have people in the house that you trust. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, well, you had watched it before, so you kind of know how it went. Yeah, yeah. So I think you had an advantage in that way. I didn't really. know. Yeah, but I didn't know that you didn't know the game until like a couple days after uh-huh. we were all in the house. Right. Do you right. understand what I'm saying? Right. And for me, I was just like, and why she is? She don't know this damn game. <laughs> Hardcore fan, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, and so it was astonishing to me. And it wasn't just you; it's like a couple people didn't know, right. you know the game. And I was just like, I don't what help me understand. Like, if you going on Jeopardy, shouldn't you not play Jeopardy? Well, yeah. I mean, I guess that's true. But at the same time, like, okay, so they basically not to give you too much of what happens. Right. Uh, we are sequestered a couple days before they announce who the cast is. So when the cast is announced, we don't even know. Who we're going on the show with because we're stuck in a hotel room by ourselves and we don't get to see anything or any TV or anything so we have no heads well, up. How was that for you? Head. How was the question for you? Eh, it was just kind of like relaxation time because I had been so working so much I was like oh I'm gonna take these couple days to kind of like relax but they still had me doing some working. photo shoots and stuff. Yeah. But the thing about it was they also give you the DVDs of the past seasons. So I did see a little bit of the <laughs> celebrity first season. Right. And I was like, the girl who knew everything about the game, it worked against her. So yeah. I felt like, okay, well, I'll be all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'll, it'll be okay, I guess. I don't know, child. I, I just will get myself in <laughs> way over my head. But what I will say is the best part of the whole thing for me was that we were able Absolutely. to get back on the same page. So. Absolutely. Like, I, I felt like I got a chance to really get to know you. You know what I mean? Like, outside of us, like, um, running into each other or, like, sporadically working together. Yeah. Like, I got a chance, like, to know you as Candy the girlfriend. And I fell in love with that. So I'm really grateful for that. Uh, I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. Praise Lord. <laughs> I mean, I as I kept on and half on it. You know, I mean, everything, you know, worked out the way it's supposed to. I, I'm really grateful for that. It did, it did. <clears throat> now, okay, so on another note, mm -hmm. you won. Tom, Candy, Dina, and Lolo all voted Whoa! for Tamar. It was unanimous. Yeah. So what'd you do with the money? <laughs> I didn't do anything with it yet. Not yet? Oh, my goodness. I thought you was about to tell us about the big house and all that stuff you went on about. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll 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 check back in yeah, with her and, check you know, in. later to see what she did with it. So yeah, but that was pretty you know crazy for the both of us in the sense of you're a mom, I'm a mom, yeah. and to be stuck in a house where we really don't have communication with our families that for was a hard. month. How was it? It was the worst ever. Like yeah. not being able to talk to my kid. You know, mm -hmm. he's only five, and he's the only child. That was very difficult because I knew that Vince and I were going through like a really serious divorce, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And at that time, we wasn't like super cool the way we are now because I was in a new relationship mm -hmm. and that was a lot on, <laughs> on my old relationship. <laughs> and, you know, I just felt like I was abandoning my kid, but um, I knew I had to do it for him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, <clears throat> he seemed like he was your biggest supporter. Because um, when Who you means? yeah, because yeah. when you won and they sent you the video, oh my god, that was so sweet. Yeah, but you know, like as a mom, you never—it's like you're never in the right place. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? When you're at home, you feel like you need to be at work. When you're at work, you feel like you need to be at home. Right? That is true. So it's like it was like the hardest thing ever. Right. Yeah. So do you keep in touch with anybody from the show? I talk to Natalie, even Marie, mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, me and Ricky um, DM each other. But that's really about it. What about you? I have talked to a few of um, our old castmates. I um, talked to Tom. I talked to um, Kato. You talked to who? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, you know, the fact that y'all was beeping on that show, it's so hilarious to me that y'all still be looking at each other crazy. Because I'm like, y'all do realize that y'all was supposed to be mad at each other no, on the show. No, it was a different level. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like there was a very disrespectful okay. and, you know, slightly racist. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. That's my opinion. Okay. okay. Well, okay. everybody's allowed because, to have that opinion. Yes, because calling me Miss Cleo, I thought, was stepping over the thresholds of Big Brother. Do you remember those Cleo commercials back in Call It? Like, do you remember when she used to predict the future? And she said, call me now for a free week. You know those commercials? There was the Holy Ghost who stopped him because I would have got up and mollywopped him. You know, I didn't think that.
it was funny at all. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't understand where that humor was coming from, you know. Well, this is what I have to say. I feel like anytime you have um, friends or associates that are from another race or whatever, sometimes they say things that they don't realize is crossing he the line. It. I mean, he thought he was making a joke that was messed up, but he I don't think he thought it was a racist joke. How because you, how to be you call honest with you, you don't think you call, you call somebody well, no. basically a, the N-word. Because, no, no, because that wasn't necessarily calling you the N-word because if somebody black would have said it, it would have... I don't think called. nobody black would have said it. it's offensive. I mean, I get what you're saying, you know what but saying? this is what I'm saying. Even Dina, after she was like, oh, he shouldn't say things that, like that. But then later she was like, to be honest, I didn't realize that saying Miss Cleo was a bad word. Like, she didn't, when she, I'm telling you, I'm telling really? you. Yes, and so that's what I'm saying is I feel like when we are associates or friends with somebody of a different race, it's our job as the person that's in their life that to let them know, hey, that's offensive. You're not supposed to do that. You ain't never had to have a, a friend or somebody that was another race. You yeah, had to tell her, hey, man, you ain't like supposed Tom, to say that. Tom didn't say that, but I felt like he condoned it. And I felt like he knew better because he has a lot of black friends, right? Yes, Tom. Remember, he's the one talking well, about the one that said it. No, but I'm saying he was the closest to Cato okay. in the house. And so when he said it, you know, I was a little taken aback that, you know, as another white guy who has a lot of black friends, he didn't check him about that. It had to come from Ricky. And actually, Tom thought it was funny when he said it. He laughed. Like, I don't see the humor. Did you go back and watch the show? You know I did. I did. <laughs> and you know this, man. I did not go back and you watch. You did it? No, I did I not. Watched, I didn't watch every single episode, but I saw most of them. And I saw a lot of After Dark. Oh, no. I didn't go back and watch none of it. <laughs> No, um, no, I why? was I was planning on it, but then my friend she was like, "You shouldn't go back because you don't want to go back and get mad about stuff that happened on the show." You think you would though? Tamar and I have a long history with each other. Yes, we have history outside of this house, but I don't want no drama. I ain't come here for none of that. I came here to win Big Brother, honey. You know, sometimes you may look at certain things differently if you go back and look at it the way that it was edited. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because even on our other TV shows that we're on, you yeah. know, when people see the edited versions of any show, you they can sway you to feel a certain way. Yeah. That's so true. I just decided I was just going to walk away from the experience knowing that anything that anybody said about me or to... Now, I did see something, though. What happened? Online. <laughs> a clip, because you know they what all happened? got the clips <laughs> of the taggers. Something I said. No. Oh, okay. No. And believe me, I'm sure you said things that I probably would have been irritated but by it was too. Funny. But I, don't like, really I care. said some things, you said some things. Like I'm you sure. was in the dark room talking like me, acting like me. I thought it was funny. I did? Absolutely. <laughs> That's funny. I thought it was funny. No, no. When um, I think when Natalie was like in the bathroom, I don't know if she was with you or she was with um you and um Lolo and she said something like, who want to eat that old fried chicken that she over here giving everybody blood pressure? I was like, really? Okay. Now to me, stuff like that could be taken racist if you want to say, if you want to go into stuff that people can say and make it racist. We can make things racist if you want to look into it. Calling somebody Miss Cleo. Okay, because I will. Now, we do rap. know that people always want to say something about fried chicken and uh, watermelon yeah, when it comes to black people. About, she wasn't talking about chicken, per se. She was talking about the salt. <laughs> Oh, I and I'm laughing because me and you would have like straight up food arguments <laughs> in the house. We were? What? You don't remember that? When I'm like, lemon pepper in, in Atlanta, you don't remember that? Oh, yeah, and yeah, I was, yeah. And you weren't eating all, I chicken want, at I the time. I just want to let everybody know that Candy puts... <clears throat> don't even tell I people what I, I put in nothing. Don't even tell I them nothing. I want to tell... I don't, don't want everybody to know that Candy puts sugar in broccoli. That is disgusting, okay? That is not I disgusting. I thought me and Candy was going to have a full-out brawl over that because I was waiting for the broccoli to be finished. She put cheese in it and everything. I was waiting. I was hungry, okay? Because a lot of people don't know that if you don't cook, you don't eat, okay? And I didn't cook this day, and you made this broccoli and had cheese in it. Okay, first she of all, let me, damn just, sugar let me let me in say the broccoli this. Let me and say this. the cheese, and I was I, let I me thought, say No, this. that's when I thought we was gonna fight. Anyway, okay, go ahead. The go thing ahead. was, 
I make broccoli two different type of ways. And honestly, I wasn't really making it for everybody else that day. I was making the broccoli for me. And yes, I put some butter and some sugar in it because that's the way I like it for myself personally. But she said after the fact, after that I already put the little sugar in there, she said put some cheese in it. And I was like, damn, I normally don't use cheese for this type of broccoli. But I but didn't okay. know you had put sugar until I tasted it. Yeah, well, too bad. Okay. Anyway, uh, and sidebar, <laughs> for all that stuff she had to say about chicken during the show, can y'all believe she's eating chicken? chicken all the Can time. you believe I'm eating chicken? No. I can't believe you She either. gave us such a hard time about chicken. Blech, blech. That's what she mean, kept saying the whole time we was in the damn I, house. I anyway. don't even really know how that came about. Girl, but you back eating chicken. Yes, I'm back eating chicken. God is good. So, Natalie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, no, I don't even care about all that other stuff. But, oh, the other people that I keep in touch with, um, well, that I've talked to multiple times is um, Scaramucci. Anthony. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've talked to him, too. We went yes. to dinner. He's a really yes. nice guy. Yes. I thought he was a really nice guy in the house. I thought he was so interesting. Yes. Yeah. And Ryan, I talk to him a lot. We text each other often. A lot. Well, yeah, he hits yeah. me up. Yeah, he's and a nice guy, too. We, we keep in touch. Yeah, he'll text me out of the blue, too. Yeah, he's cool people. Yeah, good people. Uh, of course, Dina. You talked to her? Yeah. You talked to what, talk well, to I what haven't, happened? Well, I haven't talked to her about none of well, that. Well, I'm doing it. Child, I, she I, I, said I was, she was hacked. That's what she said. And we didn't really go too deep off into it. She said that, that she was hacked. And hacked with opinions. <laughs> Her, her daughter's page was hacked yeah. and she said that she doesn't really have time for all that stuff so she wasn't really the one that was doing that so I mean I don't know I don't know they ain't have nothing to do with me so okay. <laughs> so anyway overall it was a pretty decent experience Guess and I'm what? glad we had it would you do it again that was a long time to be away from the kids. Girl. And and my man. Yeah. That yeah. was a lot. My family was super supportive, but at the same time, it just was kind of weird not knowing how they were doing. Okay, but, oh, I got a question. Go ahead. Ken, you're a very sexual person, right? Mm -hmm. Did you do anything sexual in the house? No. Nah. To yourself? Mm-mm. Because we sharing rooms. This was weird. They were strangers over there. Everybody And watching. I was in a room with most all guys. So, yes, you were. Like, yeah, I was in, in, in the but world. But did you think like, about it, though? Nah. You didn't, for 30 days, you didn't think about banging? Not in there. It was just weird. Mm -hmm. I yeah. definitely thought, I thought about it all the time. 24-7, yes, it kept me going. Really? Yes, God. Oh. Yeah, I just couldn't, I couldn't get my mind there knowing the people was watching me. I was self-conscious. You know, I knew they could see me in the dark. They could yeah, I didn't me. do anything because I, I always felt like somebody could be watching right right <laughs> but like we was doing competitions and stuff that's what i would focus in on mm. yeah i was gonna bring everybody some sex toys when i got there but they wouldn't let me bring them in the house i'm glad <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would have been a whole totally I different show it been fun but okay yeah. it was a family show so <clears throat> it's okay and it was fun yeah had a good time it was super fun for me i don't know about you after leaving the big brother house it was a re it was hard to readjust back to regular life it for still me. is it is yeah my, I, my relationship with my phone i don't think will ever be the same really mm -hmm. i'm back addicted to my social are you media. really oh, yeah. i can do scrolling without it. All day. Really? i lose it all the time really yeah people still text me it takes a couple days to hit, hit them back like it's like oh that drives me insane i don't like that. i don't even my my connection is like all the way off mm. yeah i mean i used to pay a lot of attention to my phone right mm -hmm. it used to be like my all and be all mm -hmm. and you know one of the things that i'm also grateful for being in the house is having that opportunity and having practice and being in the moment mm -hmm. and i missed a lot of things you know what mm -hmm. i mean like you know how people be like oh you have to stop and smell the roses and stop right it. right and, and we do we be on the go mm -hmm. and so that's one of my favorite things that i've learned in the house is just like focusing in on the time that i'm having Right. You know what I'm saying? I get you. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. And I wish I wouldn't have got back addicted, addicted to social media. You're going to get I, you off of that. Yeah, I got to stop. My, my husband can't stand how I'm just sit up and scroll all damn day. That's a lot. Matter of fact, my phone has started, my Instagram has started messing up the other day. And my my page wouldn't let me scroll. I had email, Instagram, and everything. Are like, you serious? Gotta fix this. Yes. Oh, I hate I was that. Like, it's so um, annoying, Can y'all fix this? They was like, we'll have it back up in an hour. I hate when I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> And they scrolling and, and they're like, oh, I can hear you. Go ahead. And they're like, you're not, you're not engaged. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're not engaged. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better. So with all of that, that has brought us to this I point. Know, and now we are on the, the dungeon tour. Yeah. I love this girl too. Oh, I'm so appreciative that, you know, through it all, we've been able to have this experience to be on tour together. And I kind of felt like this was kind of like a do-over yes, for me. Yes, sir. Because I know you took away, um, you weren't happy with the things that happened on the last tour. Yeah, I was just disappointed. I thought, I thought that we were having like a for real, honest to God, ladies night. And then- Well, we want, that was our, that was our goal. That's what we wanted. Of course, you know, I don't think anybody went into it you know, wanting to have like, you know, division and problems and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not even in, in the midst of your own, you know, situation. You know, mm -hmm. I think that you all walked into the situation wanting to have, you know, mm -hmm. a positive outcome. But you know what? I'm grateful for that because had we not done that, we would not have done Big Brother and had the issues that we had, which brought it all back here around. today. So, so I'll everything, take that. Everything happens for a reason. <clears throat> and now we're here on this dungeon tour and things have been going really great. Really great, so yes. fun. We even share dressing rooms. Yeah, I look forward to it. I don't even wear my own. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't. I don't want to do that myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. I saw, I'm having a great time with you and Trina being in the dressing room. Like it's like uh, the slumber party all over again. Yes, it has been a lot of fun, and I'm so happy that we did this. And yeah, I just want to say I appreciate you for being a part of it. I appreciate you asking me to be a part of it. You know, I mean, let me tell you something. Like, it has definitely liberated me as a woman. You know what I mean? Mm. Like getting in touch with that side because I've always been so shy and like, you know, kind of closed off and you know keeping things behind closed doors mm -hmm. but you know I mean with this experience you know I definitely am walking away with a new light going on here. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your most fun moment on the tour so far um I've had a couple of moments <laughs> um but I think my favorite one was your birthday leading up to your birthday mm -hmm. what when was that the 16th my birthday is on the 17th no that was that the Thursday was that Cleveland, Cleveland the day before was Cleveland, Cleveland was was my favorite we are playing a game, Tamar. Because we were acting a fool on stage, and um, everybody was totally free. Yes. And I got you to let your hair all the way down, honey. You was twerking and dropping it like it's hot, and picked her right back up. I cannot twerk, but I tried. You did it. it was cute. She got a little cute, little slow wine <laughs> dip moment. Yeah, it was. I mean, we laughed for hours, yeah. and it was a good time. Um, I have multiple favorites. I feel like um, I think it kicked off right. Chicago yeah. was amazing. The first show, I thought it, the first show, time. it was great. And then also Philly. Was yes, Philly was fun too. Super turn. But I mean, all of the shows I felt like has has been good. I feel like we've all been, you know, what I love is. The camaraderie of everybody. Everybody's been having a good time. Everybody's been getting along. Because anytime, you know, you you go into something and say, I want to put together something that has a lot of um, women yeah. that are a part of it, you know, you always have that thing of, is everybody going to get along? Yeah. Are we all going to be, you know, I'll, because I want everybody to have a good experience. I want everybody to get along and feel good. And then, when we're in these venues, it's, it's a smaller venue, so you don't have a whole bunch of dressing rooms. So that means everybody's sharing dressing rooms, and it's like, okay, is everybody gonna be okay with that? I love my hair. No, you love us. Mm -hmm. He said, I got one room, and one room only. I mean, brown stuff. I have brown to be a diva, therefore, I do not want any music. I have to distract you. <laughs> Look at you sing and break up with your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. That's oh my god. Oh, I just have to say everybody has definitely been great to work with. Everybody, you know, was, you know, cool with working together, being in the same dressing rooms with each other, and that for me made it a great experience. Yeah. You know, because um, you know, I just didn't know. I just didn't know. Didn't know. <laughs> no, I didn't know because, you know, um everybody's successful in their own right. And when you're dealing with people who have success, you know, they may you be used to a certain thing, you know, yeah. or different request or whatever. So for me, I was coming into it like, you know, it's not really about what I've been doing because right now, yes, I'm an artist on the show, but I'm more so kind of like promoter in a sense. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, it's my job to make sure everybody is happy. Yeah. And so, you know, I Which was- Which is a lot of work. 
Yeah, that's a lot of work, and it's I'm constantly like, is everybody okay? Are y'all good? You know, which thing you need this? You know, like I'm just constantly worried and making sure everybody is cool and going well, into it. I think you've it. done a phenomenal job. Well, you thank know, you. I'm being honest, you know, because especially for me personally, because like going into this whole rehearsal thing. Do you remember that day, Katie, the first day of rehearsal? From the top, please. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be like, all right, you need to come. We're gonna be hurting people. So I was like, yes. Okay. What's that one step? Yeah. I had just found out that my niece passed. Yeah. And like this whole movement has become like my saving grace. You know what I mean? So I look forward to coming here in a different way. You know what I mean? Because, you know, un unfortunately, you guys have, you know, taken on the role <laughs> of being my support system. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I'm definitely disappointed that it's over. You know, yeah. I, you know, I think I'm going to be blowing up everybody's phones. Well, you, you got to keep in touch with everybody. That's Absolutely. the thing. Absolutely. I feel like we've made lifelong friends. I know I've made lifelong friends here. Well, that's good. Yeah, and I'm really grateful. That's really what grateful. I'm happy about. I'm very happy that this has been a good experience yeah. and you will, you know, feeling like, okay, it's something that you would feel good about going forward. Yeah, and you know what? I just, I'm, <clears throat> I just really wanted to say that I just want everybody to know how amazing of a person and a woman Candy is. <laughs> you know, oh, Lord, the times have changed. Know, I know. She said that? Won't he do it? He will, I'm telling you. <laughs> If you let them, if you let them use you, <laughs> and you definitely are because, you know, not only, you know, like a lot, like, like you were saying, like when people are successful in their own right, you know, yeah. it definitely sometimes comes with um, an attitude yeah. or a disposition mm -hmm. or the feeling of entitlement, right? And not only, you know, were you able to pick a group of women who really don't give a damn about that, <laughs> um, but you don't walk around like that yourself. You yeah. know what I mean? You don't. You don't walk around acting superior you know, oh, no, to everybody, and you know that's not, that's a. I'm gonna tell you, that's a skill. Cause <laughs> I've been on tour with some of them, and they were, you can't be in the hallway, Linda. Yeah. You can't, girl. I ain't got yeah, time for that. Like, yeah. you know, I ain't sharing no room. You know, they put you in a little cubby hall, and you know, you just be happy and blessed and get your check and get on stage and get the hell out of there. But that's not, you know, uh, who you are as a person, as a woman, and as a businesswoman. That's very important in business. And you know, I mean, I just feel like. You've just shown everybody around here that you know you can level up and be blessed and be amazing and still be an amazing person, and that's very Thank important. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, right now this is all about you. So, is there anything else that you <laughs> want to share with is it? The people out there? Like, what's 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 next for you, Tamar? Like, what's the plan? Oh, I'm doing a Um, <laughs> TV is like TV. what you're doing a lot of, right? I, now. Yeah, but you know, like I absolutely love television. You know. Um, I mean, I fell in love with it, like, actually watching Big Brother, mm -hmm. like the first episode of Big Brother. Mm -hmm. um, I fell in love with television. I fell in love with the producing side and creating shows and, you know, being a part of great television. You know. But you have an amazing voice, and I know a lot of people have been, you know, in my comments saying, you know, what's up with Tamar? We want to see more of her. We want to hear more from her musically. Yeah, I mean, I want to hear more from me musically as well. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I just don't know where that fits right now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? No, okay. nobody knows what I mean. I mean, <laughs> I just don't know where that fits right now. I mean, I'm definitely not finished with it. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely want to put something out this year. Mm -hmm. Not want to. I'm going to put something out this year. But, Speak it. <laughs> but um, I just don't know where it fits right now with everything else. Well, I guess you just, that's when you got to realize everything doesn't have to fit in a perfect puzzle. You know? It, it doesn't have to. Yeah, but that thing called time, you know? And, <laughs> and um, you know, with me being a single mom right now, mm -hmm. I'm really working on balance and not having too many changes because, you know, one thing that I did, another thing that I learned from Big Brother is being away from my kid when it's necessary. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I can't keep leaving and leaving and leaving and leaving because, you know, he's only five mm -hmm. and it's a lot of change. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I have to be very leery of when I leave him. 
Do you know what I mean? Like I can leave for a few days, but I have to be home. I have to set structure for him. Okay. And that's what's, that's what's important to me right now. Okay. So. All right. Well, you heard it from Tamar. Yeah. And See, it keep you on the roll, honey. It does. <laughs> Although it's great. It you know, does. you got to figure, figure that part out first. It does. Yeah. But figure it out. Figure it out. It will figure. be figured out. <laughs> All right, well, guys. Okay. And she spoke on it. Yes. Okay. We speak, we spake, we spoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, thank you for watching Speak On It. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. All right. Well, thank you, Tamar, for sitting down with me. And thank you for watching Speak On It. I had already heard. I can turn a shade tree into a money tree. Inky, I really want to call you Candace so bad, but I'm not going to do it. Ah, oh, her and this Candace. It's the best ever. Like, how Candace am I gonna... is not. Because guess what? One time I saw you put that in my comments, and this lady said, Oh my God, I didn't realize that Candace was your real name. <sighs> I see. They don't remember me saying that. Dang like, on it! <laughs> that was scary. I thought you wanted to fight. Why would I want to I don't know. No, that scared me. Just because I reposted it and put, it was like, Say Martians, you please said, no. tell. What you said was, you said, I hate when people call me Candace. Like, don't. That was an old video. It was. I was scared. Yes, that was an old video that one of my fan pages. <laughs> I was like, Candy can fight. There you go. One of my fan pages uh, pulled up one of the old videos and I said they posted it, and so I reposted them and I put Tay Martians. Please tell Tamar. I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you that anymore. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs>